Okay, guys. So for the next three days, we are going to work on a fraction number line picture. I think it's super cute and it's fun and it's a great way to practice being able to identify and place fractions on the number line. So in your lesson plans for the week, there were two different ones that you could choose from. Um, I think the green one, this first one, would be the best choice. The other one, interestingly enough, says easy, but I don't think it's easier. I actually think this is going to be more of a challenge uh, because we've not discussed equivalent fractions yet. We are going to get into that, um, but I don't want you to get confused yet. So you can do the blue one, just don't worry about doing the equivalent fraction piece of it. This one is going on a field trip. We're going to drive, like, have a school bus. And then the green one is more of a road trip where there's going to be mountains. Let me show you some examples of what the end product is going to look like. So if you can see right here, this one has the mountains in the back. Um, most of these have the mountains. So that's what they chose to do. There are other examples that I can share that do the school bus. But again, I think this first one with the road trip and the mountains is going to be our best bet to do together. So we are going to divide this project up uh, so you can pace yourself. I want you to do your best work. Have fun with it. Get creative and colorful. Put your best work forward. We're not doing, you know, problems in the math book. So enjoy a little bit of a break from that. So also, when I emailed your parents, I attached a ruler. You don't have to have a ruler to complete this activity. Sometimes it helps as a straight edge and to be, you're going to have to be able to divide your number lineup equally. Um, but a flat straight edge will work just as fine if you can't print the ruler or do not have a ruler at home. So what we're going to do is if you see, sorry, my cup's in the way, um, behind me, I have started the first couple steps of our picture. Number one, on both the green and the blue copy is to draw a straight line from one side of your paper to the other. This is not from one side to the other because it's too large and I wanted you to be able to see it in the camera, but you are going to use the whole sheet of paper. So one line all the way to the other. You want these to be straight lines. You want them to be parallel um, because you are going to have to evenly divide this number line and put fractions on it as well. So it says, first let's draw a straight line from one side of your paper to the other. Now draw another parallel line across to create a row. Just like this, remember parallel lines are one on top of the other and they never intersect. So here is my road. And then I did my little dashes so it looks like a road. Then we're going to label it. So place a zero at the beginning on the left side and then a one. Our one is representing one mile. The directions on the blue are very similar. Um, the one in the blue, you will be dividing your road into 16 equal spaces, whereas this one in green, you are dividing it into six equal sections. So don't get ahead of yourself. Make sure you read each step every day. I will add a little bit more to my number line as well if you want to follow along with me. I always suggest that you try doing some of it on your own and then you come back to the video and watch me and make sure you're on the right track. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Again, have fun with this. I want it to be colorful. I want to see your best artwork and your best uh, math work. All right, y'all. I'll see you in a few.